In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily put data like this into a Microsoft Access database. Here's what you do. Go to Access, create a blank desktop database, call it whatever you want, whatever. It opens up a blank table, go back to your Excel sheet, copy your table, Control C, Alt Tab, click the top left box here has a little arrow in it and then press control V or paste are you sure to paste these yes I'm sure notice it just stuck it all in there for us if we go to the design view oh, name the table this is the office table notice it guessed what each column was in, uh, in terms of data type so it guessed ID would be an auto number exactly and it guessed state would be a short text Zip actually should be a short text because we don't want to do any math on it. And that looks good. Save that and let's create a new table. Table. Go back to Excel. Grab position table. Control C. Top left. Control V. Yes. Looks good. Let's go over to design view. Save this as position. There we go, auto number, short text, even guess these were currency, fantabulous. Let's go back, grab all of employee. Now this is gonna get a bit tricky. Create table, top left, control V, yes, but notice ID, the first column here, is not what we gave it. We gave it social security number as the first column. It automatically by default gives us an ID auto number as the first column so what we need to do if we want to retain the social security number is we have to go and copy that information again right here control C notice I didn't grab the label up top and then in this column click on it and hit paste as field and it adds all of those in there yes and then I just need to rename it double click it and call it SSN Excellent. And I'm not going to use that as our primary key. Okay, I go to design view after naming this employee. And this all looks pretty good actually. And now here's another tricky part. Let's say I want to create a relational database, so I need to add some relationships here. When I go to database tools, relationships, and throw in these tables, it's going to give me a little bit of trouble and we'll work through it, don't worry. So the standard way you do this is you throw the primary key of the one side to the foreign key, uh, to be the foreign key in the mini side. So I drag this over to location ID. I'd enforce referential integrity for reasons you might have seen in that other video and I'd hit create, but it's going to throw us an error. Problem is, oh, the table's open. That's the first problem. Let me go close the table. Close. Right click close, right click, close, try again. So I'm going to drag the ID of office over to the ID, uh, location ID, foreign key of employee. I'm going to enforce referential integrity, hit create, and it's going to throw us an error. It says that essentially location ID over employee is a different kind of data type than the ID over in office. So we need to change that so that, so that they're the same. Hit OK. Hit cancel, open up employee, go to design view, and here we go. Location ID is a number of double size. We don't really need a double, we just need an integer. Let me save that. Yep, that's fine. Go over to office, design view, go look at the ID. It says it's a long integer. Really, we don't need a long integer, we just need. Ah, it's going to force me to have a long integer. So it means I need to go back to employee ID, change this to long integer. So they're the same type. Here we go, long int. And now save. As long as I'm at it, let me do that with um, position ID. Instead of a double, we want a long int. Save. Yes. Close these tables. Go back to relationships. Drag your primary key over here to be a foreign key. Enforce referential integrity, hit create, and boom, it created it. A one, two, infinite, or many. Let's do that again with position. Here we go. Enforce referential integrity, create. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And that's it. 
that's how you create a relational database the quick and easy way.